Hey friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you what I got at Dollar Tree. I feel like I haven't done a haul there for a little while. Um, it's kind of a spur of the moment trip. We were out. I said, let me stop by. I did have a list of things that I needed to get and I got most of the things on the list. Um, so let's just dive in. Let's get going. So the first thing I got were these glass mason jars. Um, I added the tea bags inside. I normally had my, honestly, I have tea bags in a Ziploc baggie. We don't drink much tea in this house. We are coffee drinkers, but once in a while, if I'm not feeling well, I will drink tea. And I wanted something a little nicer than the Ziploc bag to keep all the tea bags in. So um, I picked these up and I'm actually gonna throw away quite a bit of the tea bags. Like I said, we really don't drink tea unless I'm not feeling well. That's the only time I'll drink tea. But I picked up two of these and I put the tea bags in them already just to show you. So, I mean, they work fine. I think they'll be great. I'm gonna put them in the coffee bar in the new house. So for $1.25, I think that's a great deal. Um, I, I was looking at tea bag storage on Amazon and on Timu, and they were actually very expensive like just to hold tea bags and I don't even really drink tea. You know, if I was an avid tea drinker and you know, had all kinds of teas and everything, that would be different. But I think for a dollar 25, this will keep them fresh. And I think it's just perfect for them. So I got two of those. We actually have another one of these that holds um, our little dog Charlie's treats in there and they look really cute. Uh, the next thing I got were a pair of flip-flops. These are for my daughter's Easter basket. She's in college and she asked me for a pair of flip-flops for the shower. So she didn't care what color or style or anything. She's only wearing them in the shower. So I got her this pretty spring color. I personally don't think Dollar Tree flip-flops are comfortable. Uh, I guess they're fine if you're just going to take them in, in you know, wear them in the shower. But um, these bother me. This right here, it hurts the bottom of my foot. I mean, what do you want for $1.25 though, right? You can't be expecting to run a marathon in them. But for what she needed them for in the shower, they're fine. I'm going to stick them in her Easter, her Easter box because I have to ship it up um, to her. Then I also got her this brush. It says angled liner brush. She just recently started wearing um, eyeshadow, like in the bottom lash line, but she was using like an eyeshadow brush and she can't get right at the lash line. So this angled brush is perfect. I have one and I use mine for shadow on the bottom when I'm not using liner and it goes perfectly right in the lash line. It's so thin and angled perfectly. So it's a wet and wild brand. So I'm gonna stick this also in her Easter box. Next, I got a pair of scissors. I got these for work. Look how cute they are though. I thought they were so cute. They're by Jot. They're like, um, almost like a marble. I thought that was so cute. And the scissors that have like the dual color handles to me are the best scissors. I have a pair of these at work and I have another pair from Dollar Tree where the, the handle is just plain one color. To me, they're, they're not as good. I'm not sure if they're Jot or not, but these scissors are great. And I thought they were so pretty. So I have to bring those to work. Um, I picked up this eyeshadow palette for myself. I do have a lot of eyeshadows, but I was trying to look for a very light shimmery pink. Um, I, I don't have that really in my palette and I wear that to work. So I figured the one up in the corner here would please disregard my nails. I just took my nails off. They're terrible. I have to redo them. Please just pay no mind, okay? Um, so I did get this. This is in the color Playful. Six colors, crease proof color. They had a lot of different colors, different palettes, but I picked up this one because of the pink. I was trying to find a single eyeshadow, you know, one color, and I couldn't find any. So I got the palette. And I figured I would use these two probably the most. I hear Charlie barking. I don't know if she's outside. Amelia is here. I don't know if you can see her over there. Amelia. Hey, 
she is. Look, there's nothing on the wall. I'm gonna do a separate video for that, for the update on the house and everything. So that'll be coming. I picked up some batteries, um, eight batteries for $1.25. I don't expect these to be wonderful. I have a Dollar Tree flashlight, a small flashlight that needs AAA batteries. So I picked them up. I know they're not gonna last forever. Um, hopefully I'll get a couple uses out of them and then that's it. It's just a flashlight I picked up just in case of emergency, like I'll keep it in my nightstand if the power goes out or something and I need a flashlight. Um, so that's what that's for. Then I also picked up this mirror. Look how dirty that is. But that's, that's the mirror. That's the way it is. They, or they all were like that in the store. Um, I had one like this, a bigger one, you know, so I could see the back of my hair in the mirror. Um, you know, my big bathroom mirror. It was a lot bigger than this, but the handle broke off. So I figured, let me just pick up a new one. It's super light. It is super light. Um, so I'm just going to keep this in the bathroom if I ever need to see the back of my hair. Then I picked up more gallon bags for work. These are, you have 13 in here. 13 gallon size bags for $1.25. Not bad. Um, I stopped buying the Dollar Tree bags for my house because I go through them too quickly. And it's just more cost efficient to get a bigger box at Walmart for like $4. So these are going to work with the scissors. Oh, my husband's going to need this. He picked up a paintbrush. We have to do a little touch up painting. So he picked this up from the Dollar Tree. This way he can just throw it out afterwards. Don't have to worry about washing it or anything. I picked up Dollar Tree laundry detergent. Um, this is fresh scent, two in one plus fabric softener. It says you get 21 loads out of this. I use this for the dog's laundry. Yes, the dog has laundry. The dogs have their own blankets and Charlie has like a, she has a wee wee pad, but then underneath the wee wee pad is like a bigger cloth wee wee pad um, that we that we use for her and we wash it. And we wash the dog's blankets, all the, their stuffed animals and everything. And I'm not using my expensive, you know, regular laundry detergent for the dog's laundry. So this is just fine. It smells nice. It gets them clean. So I keep this aside just for the dog's laundry. So yes, my dog has laundry. Next thing I picked up was some Easter grass. This one was kind of funky. I thought my son might like this one. So this is going to go in his Easter basket. I tend to stay away from the shiny kinds as opposed to the paper kind because the shiny kind to me is static cling and clings to everything. So I try to stay away, but the multicolored I thought was pretty cool and I thought he would like that for his Easter basket. And then I picked up two bags of this. I don't know if I've ever seen like the tri-color, but it's the paper, the way the grass that I like, and it's like muted colors. I think my daughter's really gonna like this one. So I'll use that one in hers and then I'll use the other in my husband's Easter basket. So I picked up two of these. It was $1.25. I mean, they both were, you might be able to get them cheaper at Walmart, probably like 98 cents, but I was there and you know, just out of convenience. Then I also picked up little garbage bags. I use these in our bathrooms because our bathroom garbage cans are very small. Um, and this one is four gallons. So it's just big enough. The next size up is 13 gallons. I said, no, that's way too big for our, our bathroom garbage cans. So this is lavender scent. I use these all the time and I was just running low. So I had to restock. Then I took a walk over to the bonus section and I picked up for $5 this planter. Um, it is plastic. You can see it was spray painted. It was black at one time and clearly you can see. Um, but I thought this was really nice and they had this in like a, a teal color, red, I think navy blue. And they had a, another plain one in black. I'm sorry, I feel like something is on me. Um, and they had the white, which I got because of all the colors, I think this one will 
go best with our new house. I have a hibiscus plant that needs to be repotted into a bigger pot. Um, it's growing great and it comes back every year. I bought it, it's in a little hanging plant. So if anybody, I'm not a gardener. I don't like to do anything with landscaping. I don't like pulling weeds, planting flowers. I'm just not into that. So any kind of flower I have goes in a pot. When it dies, I throw it away. I got a hibiscus flower like a year and a half ago and it comes back every year and it's kept coming back bigger. So it's beautiful. So I figure I'm going to repot it in this before we move because I want it to survive the move. And for five bucks, it's plastic, but these are very expensive at Lowe's or Home Depot. So I thought this was really nice and I like the design on it. So I picked up one of those. And then the last thing I picked up was another one of these baskets from the, uh, the bonus section. This was $3. It is a big basket. I picked up one already um, and I had to get another one. I'm going to put all of my extra cleaning supplies in here, like my extra Swiffer dusters, um, the toilet cleaner, like refill things. All that stuff is going to go in here and I'm going to put it in my laundry room in the new house. So I wanted to have two matching. So I picked up another one. Love this for only $3. That is a great deal. So that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. Um, like I said, it was kind of spur of the moment, so I didn't get a, a lot of stuff, but I did get almost everything that I needed on my list. Um, so in a couple days, I'm gonna upload another video. You will see the updates to the house, what's going on with our move and the sale of our house. Um, as you can see, we've been packing. There's nothing, there's nothing on the walls. Um, but that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.